Should, should I ask you the golden question? What's the golden question? Oh, nothing. You keep mentioning Diddy. I wanted to ask you about the fee. Uh, oh. I just saw the whole thing with uh, Bad Boy. He got all his... He gave the rights back to a lot of Bad Boy artists. Any comments? Um, yeah. I'll talk about this. The floor is yours. So, this one has been bittersweet for me because I'm... As I've gotten older, mm -hmm. I've let go of a lot of the trauma and I've learned to really appreciate some of the more personal, beautiful moments I've had with him. And he is the first person that gave me a platform to show my talent to the world. Um, you know, and that was at 17. I'm 39 now. So I have a hard time. I have a hard time talking about him before. Before it was no good. Now I'm feeling, I feel loving moments for moments that we had together. Mm -hmm. But this banner that he's painted himself with all weekend long, this has been the Labor Day talk in my world, that he's paying back all of the bad boy artists. Um, I just want to throw you the facts, okay? Sure. The deal that we were offered, and when I say we, not every artist got it. Like day 26 did not get it. But um, this is what it is. You can have your rights back um, to your music after Puff went under and somebody else bought our catalog. So this is long after we have two double platinum albums, $14, $15 an album from 2 million albums is... What is the math on that? Forty-eight million. Yeah, something like that. I'm a mathematician, but maybe. so so forty-eight million dollars somebody made on me. Yeah. I did not make anything. When I said I did Christine Aguilera for free, I didn't do Christine Aguilera for free. But the record label recouped it all. We were in debt at the end of that tour. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. So so I worked for free for the first six seven years of my career basically, and also MTV was not paying us. And this is another part that I have that I feel some kind of way about because MTV since then in these these recent years has brought back every big cult show, meaning it had millions of followers and it was at least six seasons, right? Yeah. Making the band is one of those. They brought back Real World. They brought back Jersey Shore. They brought back Laguna Beach. Making the band is the only one that they did not bring back. And Making the Band is the only cult MTV show that made that network, one of them, that they have never played in one rerun. Not one rerun. So I'd like to know why. And if it has something to do with Diddy, then again, what I'm wondering is when we're not being, when the deal is, when this benevolent man who's just now had a change of heart and has decided to pay us as talent and also as pub as writers were credited um, in, in with publishing. Um, so basically, we only get the amounts due since Sony bought our catalog. Okay. So streaming for the past couple years, it's about eight hundred, nine hundred dollars, some in the hundreds. Okay. And in order to get that, I have to. Release him for any claims or wrongdoings or actions prior to the date of the release. I have to sign an NDA that I will never disparage Puff, Bad Boy, Janice Combs, or Justin Combs Music, or EMI, or Sony ever in public. So that you just got recently for this thing? I got it a few months ago when okay, he started doing what's this. In the news now. So what's happening is artists, some of them, not all of them, are being given streaming royalties and ownership back over our publishing on songs that we wrote. Um, at a time when you know that you have to stream a song a million times to make point a, a cent. Yeah. OK, it, it's hundreds of dollars. And me as somebody that's a girl's girl, I hit everyone in my group and said, absolutely do not take this deal. I can get us a show on Hulu right now and I'm talking about boy bands and girl gang because you have to realize there's a handful, two handfuls at most of boy and girl bands that had a platinum albums, two platinum albums yeah. that were that and that will never happen again. Music nowadays is run by TikTok and you can maybe get a song to chart well. Albums aren't being made anymore. There aren't conceptual albums like Christina was doing, like Justin was doing. You're not those don't sell. It's a singles market game and it's a 
it's a gimmick game at best. If you were to sign that NDA, would then that prohibit you from taking a deal where it's like you get a show about the I would past? never be able to do... I would like to do a documentary for Hulu or Netflix or Amazon, a streaming site no, on no. boy band and girl bands. I, w- I have a bunch of members from a lot of very r- boy bands that fit the criteria of a certain amount of, of status. Yeah. Platinum albums, awards, etc., Grammys. Same with girls. The stories that we have to tell during a time in music where there were gatekeepers, there were people that owned labels like Puff running things, and the way that the divisions and the divisiveness occurred, and the things that we experienced between each other and us against the system are fucking insane. And most people that have had to go through those types of things, like the real ways the Kardashians got to where they got, Ray J tried exposing a lot of that, they're still acting like that Ray J didn't expose them and that their Hulu show is all real. They don't have to really even notice Ray J because he doesn't come close to them. But what Ray J said was the truth and he proved it with facts. So at the end of the day, we're all just willing to turn a blind eye. Diddy is just literally known as the guy that doesn't pay his artists. And it's funny, and then you move on and you like something that he did on TikTok because he's funny. But for people that worked for six years of their life and and entered an industry where somebody made, what, $48 million? And we didn't even see a penny of that. And we were in thongs and five-inch heels for years of our lives on stage. And not... Not any of it did we see. And the measly amount of change that MTV paid us, we don't even get to feel any benefit of that because they never brought the show back and they don't play it in reruns. So we can't even get the hype of, oh, hey, I remember this. They're cult classics. Let me hire her for something like all of them got, right? Mm -hmm. Jersey Shore kids are making millions of dollars. We were talented kids plucked out of oblivion and we all had a fucking dream to be at Madison Square Garden and perform, which we got to. And we were not expected to get there. And we're all incredibly talented, every single one of us. So to me, when I read this, I'm basically feeling like, You're presenting yourself as the benevolent God that's giving everybody back their music. You've turned down millions of dollars to give the millions back to the people. This is the honest to God you can read from our attorney. This is the honest to God agreement of what I'm being offered. A few hundred dollars to sign away my rights to ever tell the story of what I went through again. And there's not going to be an era of girl and guy groups like that ever again with the way that music has transitioned and I don't know if it will go back ever again to anything that's credible. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really and, see it. And there's a story there and Hulu tells those stories and 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 streaming, so Netflix tells those stories. And there's so many paychecks. I offered girls, I called all of them. I offered some of the girls, hey, if you need eight, 900 bucks, I'll give it to you. Don't sign this. This is just a way to get you to never be able to publicly speak about what we have experienced. And, the, and, and to my knowledge, allegedly, there's only two of us from Danity Kane that did not sign this deal. And were there five originally? Yeah. Um. And and it seems like a lot of other people are too. But you don't see them talking about how great and maybe the deals are not the same that we're being offered. I don't know. But yeah. in this email, it does say the money that you're getting is not coming through Puffy or Combs Music. This is a deal with Sony Music. Okay. Sony would be the ones that were paying us. EMI and Sony. And then you'd be getting the money back from Down to Decay Music. I would get any muse, any money that that the songs I wrote on that were streamed yes. make, which is a couple hundred dollars. Mm. This is not the money that we made when we released the albums. Yes. This is not the $48 million that two platinum albums got somebody. This is just some measly streaming money in order to stay hushed on Puff. Why he wants all of a sudden right now at this time, day and moment to offer deals to people that some of his artists have been rumored to be driving Uber to be able to feed their families. So a deal like this looks pretty good because you need the money or because you're scared to ever go against Puff. I'm somewhere in the middle of I don't give a fuck. 
Yeah, I don't need the money. I'm clearly making it, as we've discussed. And and I I just wish that Puff would do what he's saying he's doing. I wish he would pay us what we deserved for all the work that we did. And I wish he would make right his wrongs. And I wish these headlines could be real, not only for me and not because I need that money, but because I want there to be closure with a man that gave me my first opportunity in this game. And because you gave that to me did not mean that you could take all the money that I made you. I think that's very fair. Yeah. And so when everyone's discussing this, I'm the only one now that's come forward and I'm telling you, I'm showing you yeah. exactly what the deal looks like. And it's a few hundred bucks and I'd own it from here on out, and I would not be, be paying anywhere anywhere close to buy Diddy or anyone. It would be through Sony, who now owns the catalog. Yes, okay. And and, and would, I would have to sign off a, a disclosure. And not being able to talk about it. Talk about yeah. it or ever come after them for wrongdoings, auditing, or anything else regarding the things that happened in the past. It's crazy stuff. I think you made a good choice not signing it. 